Good job out there tonight. I really appreciate you giving us a few minutes of your time. We have the eighth pick in the draft and are interested in your talents. We just want to pick your brain a little before we decide. Let's get to it. The team that we built here in Detroit was a rebuilding effort that didn't quite pan out. Obviously, it's difficult to predict the future, but I expect to see a fair amount of roster turnover as we work towards retooling the lineup for another rebuilding effort. How comfortable would you feel coming into a situation where the roster is in a state of flux? Did this dude just say he want to fucking... Are you serious? You want to rebuild for the second time? Are you serious? You guys need to give it up. Detroit, I'm sorry. Just just let it go, man. You guys will never be where you once were, man. Just give it the fuck up. Get this guy out of here, please. Get him out of my locker room. Uh, It sounds to me like you guys are thinking about starting over again. If that's truly your intention, I'm not really interested in being part of a rebuilding project. I've only got so much time in this league, and I don't have any intentions of throwing away years from my career. It's nothing personal against you or the organization, but I'm just not interested in coming to Detroit. Sorry. Your ass at this NBA management. <laughs> All right, then. One more. Do you feel pressure to be good right away in this league? Do I feel pressured? Yo, did you see how many points I just put up in a rookie showcase? Are you serious? I just made Jimmer for debt look like an asshole out there. I put up 34 points, bro. Are you? You know what? Fuck him. Honestly, no. I feel confident that any team that drafts me will have patience while I continue to develop my game and adjust to the speed of the NBA game. I'm going to be great someday. I already know that. <laughs> well, that didn't go quite as I expected. We'll see you at the draft. You damn right it didn't. Well played out there tonight. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the GM of the Washington Wizards. We currently have the sixth pick in the draft and are narrowing down our list of draft targets. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. This next question is more how you feel about what we're doing here in Washington. Having recently traded away our former cornerstone in Gilbert Arenas, the franchise turned a new page in that we brought in a lot of very talented young guys, headlined by John Wall. With the group we have now, do you feel like you'd fit in? You know what? Since y'all shipped off Gilbert, I fucks with y'all. Gilbert is ass. I'm in. What's up? Yeah, man, I do. I'm a young player. I'm going to make some mistakes. With this roster, I won't be the only player in that situation, and that's something that's really comforting to me. I love that your roster is packed with young guys who are hungry to win. That's the recipe for success and what I want to be a part of. True shit. Interesting. Next question. How did you feel about your game tonight? What stood out to you? <laughs> All those fucking points I put up. Come on, 34 points. Come on. Great, man. I feel great. I really feel like I put my talents on display out there. When you guys go back and watch the tape, I think you'll realize what you'd be getting in me. A future all-star. No doubt, baby. Ooh, my boy got swag. That's great. Those answers were music to our ears. With any luck, you'll fall to us in the draft. I feel number six, baby. I know you just got done playing and probably want to catch a shower, so I'll keep this brief. I'm with the Bobcats, and we're picking ninth in the upcoming draft. We love what we saw in you tonight and want to ask you some questions to see how well you would fit in with us. Question number one. Well, it's true that our team has a lot of needs. I really feel like a small forward to build around is what would help us the most at this point. I'm going to be looking at all of the available wings in the draft, but I really wanted to get the chance to talk to you first. I just love your game. Tell me, what can you provide to the Charlotte Bobcats? Well, first off, you could have brought MJ to fuck down here. I ain't fucking with y'all. Where MJ at? Easy. I'd be providing the best talent on the team. And truthfully, though, I, I'm not feeling Charlotte right about now. I like the management, but I'm just not a fan of the current roster. I feel like the team is going to be dangling in the wind for some years. I want to join a team that can take my career to new heights right from day one. And I don't see that happening here. <laughs> you damn skip it, boy. I don't see no future for y'all. Okay, last question. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple of years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? 
See that? That's where you fucked up. You didn't just listen to my last answer. I said I don't want to be in a room. Oh fuck you! Uh, I'll keep this short and sweet. All I do is win, but I don't really see that opportunity right now in Charlotte. Sorry, I I'm just not interested in losing. You hear me? Why's it now, voice? Thanks for answering our questions. I don't know that we're a fit for you at this time. We'll need to discuss internally. I'll be in touch. Don't, please don't.